Hey everyone, welcome back to CodeFlow. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create an infinite level for our game, so the ground appears endless as the player moves forward. Let's dive right in. In our last video, we made the game playable with a ball rolling forward and dodging randomly placed obstacles. However, the ground only extends up to 1,000 meters, and if the ball reaches the end, it falls off. To fix this, we'll make the ground look infinite as the ball moves forward. In the scene view, you'll see the ground has a fixed length. To make it appear endless, we'll use two ground sections that swap positions as the ball passes a trigger point at tease. First, set up two ground pieces in a continuous line. At the end of each ground, add a trigger. When the ball crosses the trigger, we'll move the ground behind the ball to the front, creating an endless loop. Let's start by organizing the scene. Create an empty game object called ground to group our ground pieces. And name each ground piece as path. Next, add another empty game object for the trigger and attach a box collider component. Set its size to 10 by 10 on the X and Y axes to allow the ball to pass through it easily. Check Is Trigger to enable detection without blocking the ball. Place the trigger at the edge of the ground. Since our ground is 1,000 units long and centered at the origin, move the trigger 500 units on the Z-axis to align it with the ground's edge and add an extra 10 units to place it slightly beyond the ground. Now, duplicate the ground and name each piece. Place the second ground section exactly 1,000 units ahead of the first. To handle the movement, let's create a script called Infinite Ground. We'll open it up and remove the start and update methods since we won't use them. Inside, define variables for the player's transform and the ground length 1,000 units. To detect when the player passes the trigger, use the onTriggerEnter method. The Collider Other parameter identifies any object entering the trigger. To ensure only the player triggers it, set the ball's tag to player in the inspector. In the script, check if other is the player, and if so, move the ground piece forward. Since the trigger is a child of the ground, we'll move the parent object by setting parent position to the sum of current position with two times ground length. One last thing is since we are detecting player from compare tag, we will be no longer using this variable here. Finally, attach the script to the triggers on both ground sections. Now, when we play the game, watch in the scene view as the ground sections shift forward each time the ball crosses a trigger, creating an infinite path. Awesome. I hope this tutorial was helpful. You're now able to generate an infinite level by moving objects in Unity. If you have any questions or run into issues, drop a comment below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.